All right, guys, in this brief video tutorial, I'm going to share with you how to effectively disable indexing on Mac OS X. Uh, I happen to be running version 10.7.2, which is the most current version. But this will um, come in handy for a couple of applications, which I'll share with you. So in a nutshell, what indexing what indexing does allow your computer to basically take a record of all of the files that you have on your computer so that when you do a spotlight search I guess you can't see that up here it's not in the part of the window that you can see but when you press command and space that pulls up your spotlight search window and you can basically type anything in that you want to find and it'll go right to it on your computer and that's essentially thanks to your computer's indexing capabilities. That's the good part about indexing. The bad part about indexing is that it often kicks in at the most inappropriate times. Like for example last night when I was encoding a video project that I had been working on that was about 20 minutes long, my computer was already, the fans were like screaming and going crazy and the, the computer was really cooking. The processors were, were cranking. I, I had an internal CPU temperature of over 218 degrees. I was worried I was going to have a meltdown, quite frankly. I took my computer outside. It was about 50 degrees last night here in Northern California. So I took my computer outside and luckily the cool air helped, um, helped cool the computer off and the fans slowed down a little bit, but they were still humming along because what was going on is not only was my computer in the middle of encoding a large video file but the computer was also trying to index my hard drive and I was like come on you've got to be kidding this is this is the worst time for indexing to kick in so that those two happening at the same time basically caused my computer to lock up I had to do a hard reset and I was determined once this happened to figure out how to turn indexing off. So I learned how to do that last night and I'm going to show you guys in this quick video how to do that so that if you don't want to have to worry about it coming on when you're doing an already heavily uh, engaged processor activity, you can manually turn it off. And you do that by issuing a command at the terminal level. If that um, for the people that that means something to, this won't seem very scary. If you've never opened up a terminal window before on your computer, know that it's um, basically like issuing a command to your computer in the form of uh, text code. So, you, you know, you want to do this carefully um, by typing in the exact commands that I share with you here, but know that the terminal window is very powerful and uh, you, you should pretty much know what you're doing if you're going to be getting into the terminal mode. As always, before you do anything new, it's a good idea to make sure you know what you're doing and also to make sure you have a backup. Always back up your uh, information on your computer on a regular basis because, quite frankly, you never know when your hard drive or your solid state drive is going to go on you. I've lost many hard drives over the years but luckily, thanks to having a, a good backup, you can always go back to your last um, checkpoints. <clears throat> All right, so with those cautions out of the way, let's have some fun in the terminal window and turn off indexing and then turn it back on. Um, you, want, you want your computer as, a, as an overview to be able to index so that when you want to find something, you can go right to it. But my experience has been that uh, indexing sometimes kicks in at the wrong time and so it's helpful to be able to know how to turn it off all right so I'm going to launch my um, I think I'm going to launch my finder window here hello okay new finder window oops I just said new folder huh. new finder window there we go all right so we launch a uh, finder window if you navigate to your applications folder and then come down to the folder that says utilities and then go to ta-da let's see if I can 
bring that up. There we go. You want to click on terminal. All right. <clears throat> and so we'll put the terminal over here. So that's running there. And then I also want to show you. These, this is the commands that you want to use. This command line here turns indexing off. So I'm going to copy this. It's sudo space mdutil space hyphen lowercase a, <coughs> excuse me, space hyphen i space off. All right. So we come over here to the command window, and I'm going to paste that in. I'm going to hit return. It's going to ask me for my password. You need to know your system password to be able to do this. Type it in. Oops, sorry, password is incorrect. Maybe I didn't have it. There we go. OK, good. So it took my password that time. Notice it doesn't show you what the, the password is when you're typing it in for security purposes. But if you just have to type it in and know that it's there, and then when you hit return, if it's the correct password, it will instantly initiate the command. And as you can see, indexing, ta-da, is now disabled. OK, so now what I want to do is show you how to turn it back on. So I'm going to copy this command line, which is the opposite of this one. It's instead of saying off, I'm saying I want it to be on. Come back up here, paste in the command, hit return. Put, and now, as you can see, the indexing is in fact enabled or on, and the computer will 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 work normally. It'll index normally on its own schedule. So there you go. That's how you do it. Good luck, guys, and um, I'll talk with you soon.